Let's go to other news now. The Sanya leg of the Beijing Olympic torch relay has come to an end. A resort city on the southernmost tip of China's Hainan province, Sanya took much pride in playing host to the opening leg on its return journey to the Chinese mainland. Liu Yanhua was there. After stopping in 19 cities across five continents, the Olympic flame is back on the Chinese mainland. The secret flame lit up the Olympic spirit for the people of Sanya. Sharing in one dream, crowds of local people and tourists line the route, cheering to show their support for the approaching summer games. This leg of the relay began on Phoenix Island at 9.30 in the morning. With the blessing of peace-loving people all over the world, and eagerly anticipated by 1.3 billion Chinese people, the Olympic flame symbolizing peace, friendship, and hope will travel across China from Sanya. We feel greatly honored and proud. China's first Winter Olympic champion, short track speed skating star Yang Yang, was the first torch bearer in Sanya. She won two gold medals at the 2002 Salt Lake City Olympics, ending China's gold medal drought at the Winter Olympics. A total of 208 tote bearers ran during the route of more than 30 kilometers. They passed the Crown Beauty Center, Hai Yue Square of Sanya Gulf, Hai Hong Square. And finally, movie star Jackie Chan and local official Pu Huifang carried the flame together to the scenic spot of Tianya Haijiao the end of this leg of the relay. After Sanya, the flame will travel to Wuzhishan city on Monday and arrive in Haikou, the capital city of Hainan province, on Tuesday. Liu Yanhua, CCTV. Now, the torch relay ended just a short while ago. Let's stay with that story. Liu Ying takes a look now at how locals in Sanya cheered along the route of the latest leg of the Beijing Olympic torch relay. On the street outside the Beauty Kong Cultural Exhibition Center in Sanya. In about two hours, the torch bearers of the Beijing Olympics will pass by here. Many local people have already arrived here early in the morning to welcome the flame and cheer for, for the Beijing Olympics. <laughs> The Olympic flame attracted crowds of local people whose enthusiasm for the Beijing Games is skyrocketing. These young people waving red flags are students at Hainan University. They tell us they arrived here at 6 o'clock in the morning, aiming to secure a good view of the torchbearers. I hope our motherland will have a wonderful future. I'd like to send my best wishes for the success of the Beijing Olympics. <laughs> Some in the crowd have brought a keyboard, expressing their feelings through music. We seem to convey our wishes for our country as it prepares to host the Olympic Games for the first time. People traveled from all over the country to cheer the Sanya leg of the torch relay. I come from Heilongjiang province, the northernmost part of China. People from both north and south should join together to wish good luck to the Beijing Games. The Olympic torch relay also attracted some foreign tourists in Sanya. Uh, our country Olympic flame uh, in St. Petersburg, uh, but we don't see this. Uh, we won't uh, hear uh, see uh, Olympic flame. This is the Olympic torch first leg on its return to the Chinese mainland, and Chinese people are becoming increasingly excited as the opening ceremony of the Games approaches. Wu Yingna, a former Miss World and a native of Hainan province, is the 50th runner of Sandy's relay. And the atmosphere here is electrifying as the crowds cheer her and the over 200 other torch bearers. Liu Ying, CCTV. Sanya, Hainan Province.